Hi, my name is Sally Caselli. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Moodle or e-learning at Cairn University. This video tutorial is designed to be used by faculty who are starting with a course from scratch. I will be demonstrating how to use the system to give an overview of how the system works, how to add various components such as resources, PowerPoints, lectures, links to websites, articles and things of that nature, then how to enhance it by adding assignments to your course and enhancing it also from the visual aspect of the course, and then how to add quizzes, lessons, forums, configure the gradebook, and basically pretty much manage a course in during a semester. It's important to understand that I'm going to start here from scratch and then give you some concepts and then go from there. So to demonstrate quickly, I'm going to show here what a completed course looks like in Moodle so that you get an idea as to what you can accomplish with it. So this is a sample course that was taught earlier this year. And by the way, you can use Moodle also to deliver an online course. It has all the functionality that you would need for an online course. One thing to understand in Moodle is that, or in e-learning, is that basically everything is sequential. Unlike other learning management systems out there, in Moodle, the students will start with the resources at the top of the page, such as a course syllabus, course logistics, and other components in the course, and then move to week one. All the week one resources will be posted right here. For example, a summary of that week, what's going to be covered, then the reading, what has to be accomplished for that week, and then the various lectures within the, for that specific week, various blogs and forums, and then even particular assignments from week to week. So the idea here is that everything is offered to the student, everything that they would need for that specific week, it's given and listed under each block here so that's the major idea. Other learning management systems, they may take an approach where all the assignments are together, all the lectures are together, and, and all the quizzes are listed together, and so on. And that option it can be chosen from here under activities as well. So that's one of the things. Everything is sequential. The other thing to keep in mind is that there are these blocks here on the right-hand side. Those blocks can be customized as well. Those are just supplementary material, whether they are for navigation or whether they are for other functionality and information that you want to display for the students. And I'll try to cover those shortly as well. But the idea that I wanted to give here is that everything is sequential and you have the various blocks and that finally you can accomplish something very similar to this where the student will click on various resources and then follow the pattern or follow the path of the lessons or the activities that you have presented for them. So that's the major overview. Now, as far as getting into the system, so let's get started using the system itself here. So just like with any other system, of course, you need to log in. And by the way, for those of you that are not part of Cairn University, if you are watching this video, you can actually, it's, uh, this is pretty much the clean theme in Moodle 2.9. But basically here we need to uh, log in on the top right hand side. Then once you log in, and this is new with Moodle 2.9 or eLearning 2.91 here, you'll have this dashboard. The dashboard is basically a listing of courses and resources that students receive or view and faculty views as well. The nice thing here is that you basically, if you have certain things that need to be taken care of, uh, you'd click on any of these items in here and it'll expand them out. The idea as well is that you can click on the course and it will take you to the course that you are teaching. Now if you're not getting this view, for, some, for whatever reason you're not getting this view, you can also click here on eLearning Home. And that will take you to the startup view. It's not the dashboard. It's basically a listing of the courses as they are arranged university wide. So if you want to make this the home page, you can just simply click here, make this my default default home page. Otherwise, you'll be using the dashboard that is from the main page over here.
Now, note as well as you're getting started with this, notice that you have some links here on the top uh, hand side here. So there's links for the various other systems that we have here, library sources, other courses. Also down here in the drop down, you have you can change things related to your profile and grades. This is primarily for the students, messages and other preferences as well that you can customize. Also notice that in the very bottom here, there are other links that we have customized at the footer of this site for the faculty. So particularly here, you'll be focusing on the area for the faculty. So now in this case, what we are going to do is we're going to start tinkering with a specific course for that we are going to assume we're going to start working and we're going to teach this course. So in this case, let's suppose that we are working here and the course that we are going to teach this semester is the test course here. This is from the dashboard view. If it is, if you go to the standard view of uh, after you log in, you'll see something very similar as well, the, uh, the name of the course. So we'll click on the course here and notice it's going to be blank. Now in our case here at the university, all the courses are created automatically and they are linked to the the student information system and students are enrolled automatically and the courses are created automatically as far as a blank page very similar to this. So now you as the faculty where do you start? That's the question and that's the point of this video tutorial as well. So to get started like I mentioned in the previous session or in the previous part here everything is sequential. So you want to put stuff here in the very top of the course, such as a syllabus, announcements, things of that nature. And then on each topic here, on each area, this is where you want to post the resources for each week for your students. So how do we do that? Very simply, one of the magic buttons here is by clicking on the turn editing on. If you don't turn this button on, you can't change anything. So that's one of the keys in Moodle. So that's one of the keys here in Moodle is to turn, click on turn editing on. So click on turn editing on and then you'll notice a whole bunch of new buttons show up everywhere. Basically notice you have this gear icon and by the way this may look slightly different from version to version. We are constantly tinkering with it to make things hopefully better. But just the idea is going to be the same primarily. So notice you have these icons here. So this edits the summary here. This icon here allows you to move this resource. This pen over here allows you to edit the title of an actual item. And then further down, you have here add an activity or a resource. This is where one of the ways that you can add stuff to your course, whether you can add assignments, attendance, the chat module, forums, lessons, quizzes, and all this other types of stuff here. Notice that there is the top part here, these are activities that students usually perform for you. And then the second portion here under resources, this is uh, resources that you can post for your students. So the idea again is you click on add an activity or resource for each block that you are working with. Now typically our courses here, we design them so that they are about 16 to actually 17 blocks. That should allow for the length of a semester, maximum 17 weeks, we assume. If you want additional sections in your course, you can either click on this plus sign or the minus plus sign adds another one, minus decreases it in the bottom here. Or you can go under administration here and by the way this is how you administer your course major settings of your course and you can click on edit settings we are editing the settings for this course so we click on edit settings here and this is just again just to get started here to get an idea we don't recommend that you change any of this stuff here the course name and the dates and all that type of thing because problems will occur for sure you can change the course summary to put a summary here. Course format, this is where you can add more sections. So you can add here 18 or more up to 53 or 54 sessions. So if you're teaching three times a week, you might want to make this 42 blocks and you just choose 42 here. It'll change it to 42 blocks. Then uh, you can change other items in here. However, we don't recommend, by the way, notice there are question marks here to help you with what these do. 
and maybe consider enabling completion tracking that then for various assignments your courses whenever you post an activity you can set criteria and the students can keep track of what they have completed and what they have not completed so then you click on save and display that will take you back to the main course here now at this point like i mentioned earlier as well you have various other options here uh, you shouldn't have to tinker much with them you have these different blocks that can be moved up or down by simply dragging them latest news and so on and and so on so now we are ready to start this course the idea is to get the course to look something like this for example with all the resources for each week for the students now in this case this is an online course however the flexibility is there so in the next session here i'm going to actually start how to add the headings for the course